This is what I look like when someone mentions climate change. This is what I think about when someone mentions climate change. This guy knows what he's talking about. This is David, and he is one of the UK's most prominent young experts on climate change. Olivia, on the other hand, doesn't understand much. That ping pong bat to her left is a mechanism we created for Olivia to use when she needs something to be explained more. She uses it a lot. David's going to help us understand climate change. David first told us if we want to understand climate change, we should probably understand what climate is. Because that is the thing which is changing. David, you're so right. Climate, all that means is long-term weather. So if you think of it as average weather over a long period of time. Apparently there are two big things that cause climate change. The first, David tells us, are natural occurrences. And these have happened over Earth's geological history long before humans were around. We should picture volcanic eruptions, plate tectonics, changes in solar emissions. And the other side of that is the man-made, the human consequences which cause climate change. So this is due to the increase in greenhouse gases and the global warming which we're experiencing at the moment. <laughs> so this is the world and this is the atmosphere around it. And this is the slightly square thing. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. we've got shortwave radiation which comes from the sun to Earth, travels through space, and this enters our atmosphere. So what actually happens to this radiation when it comes into the atmosphere? Well, around 20% comes in and gets deflected by clouds and particles in the atmosphere. Around 30% comes in and gets reflected by white reflective surfaces. Ice is a big one, obviously two big poles. Apparently, we should only really be concerned with the 50%, which comes in, hits hard surfaces like roof tiles, pavements, oceans, and warms them. So these surfaces heat up and they re-emit long wave or infrared radiation. And this is where greenhouse gases come into the picture. David says that the top three greenhouse gases are one, carbon dioxide, two, water vapour, three, methane. The main reason for the mass increase in these is human activity. Okay. Um, so the big one of these is the burning of fossil fuels. Like coal, oil and gas. And we burn these to produce energy. Agriculture is a big contributor from the production of fertiliser to grow food, to the farming of cattle. And another big one is on the production of cement, which is a crazy big one. I bet cutting down so many trees doesn't help. Anyway, back to the diagram. The greenhouse gases absorb this radiation and they only emit part of that back out into space. And the other part stays within the Earth's atmosphere and it warms it. The greenhouse effect is a natural process, right? David, enlighten me. Without it, what would happen? The Earth would actually be 33 degrees colder than it is and pretty uninhabitable. Is it a bad thing? What's bad is this increase in more greenhouse gases causing this warming. And that leads to global warming and climate change. But as the world heats up, there's obviously less ice, so less of this radiation gets reflected back into space, which causes more warming. And as the oceans heat up, more evaporation happens, so more water vapour, which is a greenhouse gas, puts into the atmosphere. So you can see it's a bit of sort of a positive feedback in the system. So warming makes more warming. And this is what we're concerned about, because this is leading to dramatic climate changes, which are negatively impacting ecosystems and humans across the world. So come on, impress me. Where's the proof? There's scientific consensus that which means 98% of scientists agree. 98? Yeah, that humans are causing the current global warming. Things these people are actually like researching this. They're going to Antarctica, drilling ice cores. NASA's involved. Uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change produced huge reports on this. 
and there's pretty scientific certainty that this is the problem and humans are causing it. Thank you, David.